Hey there, and welcome back to Mass Effect. Last time, after several attempts, we were able to defeat the mind-controlling fungaloid creature located below Zoo's Hope, known as the Thorian, and gain the cipher from an Asari prisoner freed from her gooey cell that's also a wall bubble thing that Saren put her in because he's a dick. So now with the cipher, we can see all the war crimes that were committed against the Prothean race 50,000 years ago. But now we have to go somewhere else because we can't settle down and focus on our raging and increasing PTSD. What do you have for me? I never thought I'd forgive my previous inaction, but under the Thorian's influence, every thought was examined and filtered. Let me see what you have in stock. Of course. Return in the future, and I may even have more to see. For the love of God, man. I can't afford any of this. You go to hell. What's this? I already talked to you. Alright, so all these all these idiots survived. We got them out. You know, we uh, we used uh, some special gas trenches. By the way, I should probably remove that. Now that before I uh, am thinking about this, because I really don't think we should keep that on. Uh, let's go with fusion explosion. Screw it. Oh, actually, we have uh, squad upgrades as well. All right, Shepard gained a couple. Shepard gained a couple. Let's get a few more in our uh, in our class there. What's Rex got for me? I think Rex should be getting his armor upgraded a bit. I should Garrus. Okay. So now we're going to go back to the Normandy, and we're going to take off, and we're probably going to fly around and do some side quests, explore some more star clusters. Because there is some more crap to see in the universe. And the Alliance always needs Commander Shepard to clean up their crap piles. I wonder how many bags of poopy the Alliance has left throughout the galaxy that Commander Shepard has had to scoop up off the celestial pavement. Maybe too many to count. But let's continue. Because this is for humanity. Let me on my boat. Oh, we're gonna have to talk to people Stand too. Stand by, shore party. We gotta talk Decontamination to people too. Let me get progress. back on board. So yeah, maybe we'll we'll do a quick uh, chit chat with the crew. Commander, you look pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? I was just brain probed. No, we're not gonna go with that. I'm just gonna go. I'm fine. I just need some time to let this cipher do its thing. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. Alright, poke my brain! Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. Do I have a choice? Dear God! It's just so goopy! Why is everything so moist and goopy? Is what the pus? Is it? Is the viscosity of that like tapioca pudding? Incredible! All this time, all my research, yet I, I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so intense. Welcome to you my world. Are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Come on, get to the point. What did you see? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. The data transferred into the commander's mind is incomplete. You sure you didn't come across any kind of clue or hint? Something we might have missed? Everything I saw, you already know. You were right about the Reapers. The Protheans were destroyed by a race of sentient machines. I think it is obvious there is a connection between the Reapers, the Prothean Extinction, and the Conduit. But I did not see anything that would help us find it. What's our next move? I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision. What was there, at least. But something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. 
Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh, I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwas should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. I sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogeny should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. The Thorian liked to enslave minds. Anyone who studied it would have ended up as one of its thralls. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. You are a dick. Being human had nothing to do with it. They were in trouble. Admirable. But sometimes specters have to make sacrifices. I hope you're willing to do that when the time comes. Goodbye, Commander. We will be waiting for your next report. Suck my ass. More Paragon. What what is our Paragon up to now? Ah, okay, that that's that that's up there. That's healthy. That's a, that's a fifty percent. That's pretty good. And we still have two main story areas to go. Well, one, yeah, one more main story area to go, and then some other stuff. But we're gonna go talk to the crew. So let's talk to. Uh, yeah, we'll have a chit chat with Joker. See what he's up to. See what him and his brittle bone disease are up to up here. What's up, Joker? What do you got for me, you weird little scrubby man? Uh, hey, Commander, next time we touch down, let's try not to park the ship in a colony of mutant zombies. Just thinking out loud here. I have to go. All right, see A you. barrel of laughs he is. All right, now we're going to go downstairs. Talk to Caden. Talk to Liara. We can go down to the hold and talk to the rest of the crew. Talk to the good people. Not the shit people. You've been working on that panel literally since I've known you. What is with the panel? Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Is this an official evaluation, Commander? Or off the record? Elenko. When it's just you and me, you can consider it off the record. That's a generous attitude. Okay. I think there's something wrong with all this. This Saren is training people to aliens for some kind of lost knowledge. But we can't get backup from the Council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. The Council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the Council should see this coming. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in BOT. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Sorry, hauled in is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. Seems like you beat the odds. How many didn't make it? Out of a hundred, maybe sixty have no effect. Thirty suffer adverse effects. Little things like brain cancer. The other ten show enough ability to augment with implants. Not always permanent, though. Not like the cancer. Next thing you know, you're out on jump zero. And how's a kid supposed to deal with that? A station at the edge of human space. Jump Zero is Gagarin Station, right? What's it like? Yeah, that's the official name. Biggest and farthest facility we had for decades. Right on the termination shock, the outer edge of the solar system. It's where they did all the goose chase FTL research before we caught on to using mass effect fields. It was a sterile research platform when I was there. There were other kids in the same boat, right? At least you weren't alone out there. That's true. We did have a little circle that'd get together every night before lights out. 
We didn't have much to do, though. It was a research platform then, and Kinetics kept Jump Zero off the extranet to prevent leaks. Time to get physical, then. Then you must have had plenty of time to get to know each other. Yeah, we'd sit around and bowl every night after dinner, play cards, or network games. There was this girl named Rana, who had a little circle grow up around her. She was from Turkey, her family was very rich. But she was smart, and charming as hell. Beautiful, but not stuck up about it. I think you'd have liked her. Sounds like she was special to you. She was. Maybe she felt the same. But things never felt together. Training, you know. Do you know of any intentional exposures for certain? No one knows. Doesn't mean they didn't happen. As big as the exposures were, it was hard to track down accidentals. It was different then. No one knew the potential, so there wasn't a lot of regulation. Anything Kinetics did was gold. I'm not saying they intentionally detonated drives over our outposts, but in retrospect, they were damn quick on the scene. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better in the vids. But that's my own baggage, Commander. No bearing on this. Alenko, there's no regulation that says you can't be friends with your commander. Actually, there are I several. I that, Commander. I just don't want you to think that I'm a, a whiner. Besides, I've got my past squared away. Alright, we got some XP from Alenko. Shepard's locker. Take it off. Now I gotta talk to Liara. Blue bitch, what's up with you? Commander, are you coming to check up on me? Maybe. You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheids. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. Well, we don't have the luxury of time. An Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit a hundred and fifty. That is true. At first I thought that was a weakness of your species. After spending time with you and your crew, however, I think it may actually be an advantage. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. Why me? There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what you did during the Blitz. It was a remarkable display of courage and heroism. You didn't need to go behind my back. I would have told you whatever you wanted to know. I apologize, Commander. After our last conversation, I was afraid I would say something stupid again. I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the man you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. My dick? You're interested in me because of my visions. You just want to know more about the Protheans. I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest. Uh -oh. But it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard. But I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. Uh -oh. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Chief Williams. Oh, dear God! I didn't know this came up this early. Oh, man. Okay. Alright, so so here's here's the deal. Um, 
we are going to so the thing is you can go with one you can go with the other or or you can choose to abstain now i was debating about choosing to abstain uh but i at the same time it is kind of funny because you do get the sex scenes at the end of the, of the game so i think i might go with liara on this one because liara has arguably the better of the two sex scenes even though i think technically we can't actually show that on youtube uh, but we'll we'll see about that when the time comes but let's uh let, let's go with this let's say well it's not that serious and ash is kind of a bitch williams and i are just friends nothing more my mistake then i am not as adept at understanding human relationships as i thought but what about us shepherd is there a mutual attraction or was I wrong about that, too? Just be friends, or... Nope, we're going full on with blue touchy-touch. No, you were right. There is something between us. I knew it, and I knew you felt it, too. But does this not seem rather strange? Why do I feel so close to you? Touch me! We have only known each other a short time. We are from two different species. We have almost nothing in common. This makes no sense. Don't analyze this, you idiot. Just go down. These things never make sense. They just happen and we get swept up in the storm. You make it sound so chaotic, so dangerous. Don't tell me a little danger puts you off. This is all a bit overwhelming. I am not used to this. You. I need some time. Take all the time you need, Liara. I'll be here. Thank you, Shepard. Let's... let's just talk about something else for now. I should go. Goodbye, we have Shepherd. sown the seeds of buttfuckery! Yahoo! Now it's time to go downstairs and talk with the riffraff. And brag that I have a new blue girlfriend. Yeah. So the question is, now, in, uh, in Mass Effect 2, I actually have another romance I usually go after, which I actually prefer, honestly, especially when it concludes in Mass Effect 3 as well. So I may switch over then, which you actually can do, but just for this playthrough, we're going to have uh, Liara in the saddle. Oh, God, now I just imagine her in a sex saddle. This is going to get freaky! Especially with eyeball stuff, because she can poke our brains and make our brains do horrible things. And then harvest our DNA to make blue children. That sounded creepy. Because it is. What's up, Garrus? Commander, how are you? Why did you want to be a CSEC officer in the first place? Hmm, that's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was CSEC, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. That's tough, but you'd think he'd be impressed you're going after Saren. My father's a CSEC man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Saren. He actually talked me out of becoming a Spectre when I was younger for the same reasons. You were asked to be a Spectre? Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate, me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. Not all Spectres are like Saren, you know. Of course not. But Saren's not going to play by our rules, c -sex rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. You're a quick learner, Garrus. We'll beat him at his own game. It's the only way to stop someone like him. I'm right behind you, Commander. I love Garrus. He's my boy. All right, Ash. Oh, before I go, you said you're serving with Commander Shepard now? We saw him on the news here. He's cute. Later, Sid. Well. Tell me you didn't hear that. Afraid I did. Oh, shoot me now. One of my sisters. That's Sarah, the youngest. 
Surprised to see you here, sir. Thought you'd be chatting up, what's her name? To Sony? Liara? Why would you think that? Scuttlebutt says you got a bit of a thing for her. I could understand why. The crew's off limits with the regs against fraternization. And at least she looks like a woman. Ow, you're a bitch! I forgot how much of a bitch you are! You think I'm interested in Liara because she's the only one I'm allowed to date? So you are interested in her. Of course, it could be politics. Alien diplomat's daughter, us under orders to make nice with the bug-eyed monsters. What's up? You didn't come by to eavesdrop on family mail. Your family seems to be important to you. Yeah, we've always been close. Me and my sisters especially. With dad on duty so much, I had to help mom raise them. You have more than one sister? Sounds like a big family. Yeah, I'm the oldest, then Abby, then Lynn. Sarah's the youngest. She's still in high school. With four girls, Dad used to say he felt more outnumbered at home than on maneuvers. I was an only child, but I get the idea. At least one of my parents was always on duty. Yeah, military families, eh? With schedules like that, it's a wonder we ever have kids anymore. Things were tense between Sarah and me for a while. Then we bonded. Sounds like a story. Feel like sharing? Sarah got herself a boyfriend who wanted to go faster than she did. Mike. Hey! I didn't think he was a bad kid, just pushy. Lynn would send me these worried vid mails, and I'd tell her to relax. Sounds like that situation didn't last. Mike thought they'd go for a romantic walk in the woods, because he figured it was past time they did the deed. She levered Mike face first into a tree and left. Didn't have a scratch on her. Good thing Mom and Dad had us all learn some kind of self-defense. I took emergency leave and walked Sarah to school for a few days. Did anything happen while you were home? My last day out, Mike was waiting for us. Sarah had told her friends, so everyone at school knew what he did. He wasn't happy. I wanted to snap him in half, but Sarah gave me this look. This, let me handle it, I need to do this alone look. She kept her cool, God bless her, as he screamed in her face. She just let him vent. Then he tried to punch her. I swear, she just flowed around him. Next thing I knew, he's face down on the sidewalk, and there's blood everywhere. That's unbelievable. Sarah must be as good as you. Better. I'm more or less a straight-up puncher. When he swung, she just... She wasn't there anymore, and he fell. She helped him stop the bleeding and had me call an ambulance. She told the paramedics he fell. Before they took him to the hospital, Mike touched Sarah's arm. I thought he was going to end up on the ground again. But... He hung his head, whispered, I'm sorry, and started crying. And she hugged him. The Williams women are a decisive bunch, Commander. We do things when we're ready. Not before, not after. Your sister's something else. But you didn't mention your father at all. Was he on deployment? Dad always wanted to serve in space. But he wanted us to have real ground under our feet. He'd say, space is beautiful, but you can't raise a family there. I cannot rest from travel. I will drink life to the lees. All times I've enjoyed greatly have suffered greatly, both with those that loved me and alone. For always roaming with a hungry heart, much have I seen and known. Cities of men and manners, climates, councils, governments. I never thought I'd hear you reciting poetry. Just because I can drill you between the eyes at a hundred meters doesn't mean I can't like sensitive stuff. Just don't spread it around. Ulysses was my dad's favorite poem. Every time he shipped out, he recorded me reading it. He had a dozen versions when he retired. Does he still like it? I sure hope so. I read it to his grave every time I go home. Dad passed on a few years back. He's probably still watching though. Oh so lord. So behave. I thought you said he was dead. You know, from heaven, wherever that is. That's not a problem with you, is it? That I believe in God? Yeah, this came up in this game. I forgot about this part. Yeah, I'm not going to say I do too, but okay, yeah, of course. Everyone has the right to believe what they want. It says so on the Alliance Charter. Only with fancier words. I'm glad you're open-minded about it. 
I've met a few people who are really weirded out by my faith. Because I work in space, I can't believe in a higher power. Jeez. Hello, have you people looked out the window? How can you look at this galaxy and not believe in something? Because science! Let me get back to my duties. Didn't mean to take up so much of your time. We'll talk later, Williams. You are just Looking a downer on all levels. Rex, get, get, give me, give me a pick me up here, buddy. What do you want, Shepard? Why did you become a mercenary? Lots of reasons. Such as? Such as, I needed to get out of our system. I needed to eat. I needed to survive. Why not stay and help your people? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. What happened? I was betrayed. I was head of a small tribe. We were trying to restore order after the war. But the other tribes were against us. They followed Jared. One of the few warlords who survived the war with the Turians. But he was old, and so were his ideas. He wanted to continue the war. He wanted us to fight. Turians, Solarians, each other. It didn't matter who, as long as we were fighting. What did you want? I just wanted Jared to shut up. To stop his ranting. I wanted him to stop leading the tribes astray. But he couldn't understand how much things had changed. We didn't have the numbers to go to war. Even if we did, the Genophage made sure we couldn't replenish our numbers fast enough. I told them all to forget about war. We needed to focus on breeding. At least for one generation. And for a while, we were getting through. Some of the tribes started coming around. I take it the Warlord didn't appreciate that. No, he didn't. He arranged a crush with the tribes. A meeting on neutral ground. He wanted to talk. We met at the Hollows, near the graves of our ancestors. The skulls of our dead laid bare to remind us where we come from and where we all go. It's as sacred as any Krogan place can be. Violence is forbidden. It sounds like a trap to me. You must have suspected as much. I did. But when your father invites you to a crush, well, there are some laws that even we hold sacred. Jared was your father? He was. Until that day. We talked. But we didn't get anywhere. When it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. His men leapt from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. I escaped with my life, but not before I sank my dagger deep into my father's chest. That is why I left, and that's why I'll never go back. So long, Rex. Shepard. That's why I love Rex. Rex is a badass, but he's also so fucking tragic. Alright, Tali. What can you tell me? Shepard, I need to talk to you. It's important. Is something wrong? You know the data you took from those Geth control nodes? The information you uploaded to Alliance Control? I want a copy of it. You want to bring this data back to the migrant fleet? Those files have information that could be vital to our efforts to understand the Geth. It could be the key to helping us reclaim our homeworld. It'll take years to decipher and analyze the data. Maybe even decades, but it's worth the time. This information will give us new insight into how the Geth have changed and evolved over the past centuries. All right, it's good. Go ahead, make a copy. My people, I owe you a great debt, one I can never repay. The only thing I can offer in return is what you already have. My solemn promise to stay with you until Saturn and his Geth armies are defeated. I never wanted anything more. Thank you, Shepard. Yeah! Alright. 
We did something good. Pretty sure we completed her side quest doing that, which is awesome. Now we can head back upstairs, and we can go do some side quest action! Yeah, baby! Elevator riding up. Dun, 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 dun. All right, let's go. Let's. Oh, oh, sorry. God damn it. I keep forgetting I gotta go up another staircase to get to the actual flight deck. All right, so we did the Thorian crap. Let's do some side stuff for a bit now that we've talked to everybody. So take a quick peek here. Plenty of time for side stuff. Okay. Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. Is it the Ambassador? It's not his signature. I think it's from the Council. I'll patch it through to the comm room. Okay. Show me what you got. Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. I'll take all the help I can get. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. You mean spies? Spectres tend to attract attention, Commander. But they are only one arm of the Council. Special task groups are often a better option for monitoring developing situations. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. Okay. I'll look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. Okay. So, uh, the Vermeer thing, we're gonna wait on. that. That's something that we're gonna do. We still need to do Novaria, and then we'll do Vermeer, because Vermeer is kind of a turning point. Uh, so we really don't want to go there right now. We will go to Vermeer after uh, we do the Novaria part. But we are gonna go explore the galaxy now. Okay, let's see. So... We did Artemis Tau. We did Hades Gamma. We did the Voyager Cluster. Arms like Nebula. We're not going to Vermeer right now. We did the Kepler Verge. We did the Hawkeye Nebula. Uh, did we do the Maroon Sea? I don't. Okay, I don't think we did the Maroon Sea. So we're gonna go there. So we'll go to uh, Vostok. You're the best around. No one's gonna ever bring you down. Need some like hardcore 80s music for this. Yeah! Hair metal. And now we're gonna fly through the mass relay. Whee! Alright, we're gonna have an alliance thing. Nope, no alliance thing talking to us. Okay, well, first things first, let's explore to see if we can find. There we go. There's a metal asteroid, so we're gonna survey that. Heavy metal surveyed. Figured. Let's start here. So, uh, Hatiaton. Okay, we can survey. Uh, gas giant, which means it's probably gas deposit. Oh, Matriarch's writings. Okay. Scans of Vitatian revealed a strange unmanned vessel in orbit around the planet. Tali brought it on board and determined it was a Sari maid, but very old. She discovered several ancient artifacts inside the vessel, including one of Matriarch Dilanaga's writings. Okay. Get another one of those. Alco. Okay, we can't do anything with this one. Well, again, I'll leave this on screen if anybody wants to read these. You just have to pause the video. Nothing there. Uh, Clomarthu. Okay, again, this is nothing we can really do anything with. And again, I'll leave this up for a second for people. Okay. And I think this is the last one. Notacrux. Looks like we've got an active distress beacon on the planet below, Commander. No message, just a locator signal. 
Okay, this is one we can land on, so we will be landing on this one. It's a verdant world with abundant water, temperature climate, and thick nitrogen oxygen atmosphere. Okay. So this is this looks like it's breathable. Almost not quite. Thunderstorms are common on Earth, but in other words, thicker oxygen rich atmosphere there. Deafening and spark constant wildfires. Oh, that's lovely. Screw that. Okay, so who are we gonna bring with us? We've had Rex with us for a while, so we're not gonna bring him. Um I think maybe we'll bring Let's bring Tali with us. Because then we can work on her stuff a little bit. Okay. Let's see what we got here. So that's our mission objective. There's an anomaly there. Something over here. Yeah, there's something over the mountain here. Looks like enemies. We're gonna go check this out quickly, because I mean, even even if this isn't something to find, we still will get uh, XP from shooting these bastards. What is it? What is it? Oh god. Fuck you, too. Alright, what about this one? There's more of them up here, it looks like. What the hell's going on here, people? Okay. That's odd. Alright, whatever. There's stuff I can loot out of here. I'm cool with this. And I got XP. Hard decryption. Oh boy. Oh boy. Son of a bitch. I'm not gonna make this one. Nope. Okay. It's... Son of a bitch. Whoop. No, I wanna. No, I wanna do that over again. Yes. Oh, that's better. That's much better. There we go. Alright. This is an easy decryption. Good. Alright, come on. Taking all that. Okay, we got everything out of there. Dear God. Alright, there's a mineral deposit up here. We're gonna go get that. Because we're goddamn masochists. We're gonna go get that damn mineral deposit. We got it. We got it. Alright, we're just gonna have to go up the side of this here hell now. In the micro. 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 Climbing hill with the nickels. Oh god. This is ridiculous. Jesus approved. Oh god. No, no, no. Don't want to die. Don't want to die. Oh god. No. No, I see it. I see it, Jesus. We perp. Yeah. All right, now I just need to survey this gold deposit here. Cause reasons. I'm a completionist lunatic. Everybody knows this. All right. All right. So now that we've done that. We need to... Oh, this is going to be pain, isn't it? This is going to be a pain. It might actually, honestly, be easier to... Oh, my God. I realize I put myself in a very bad position. 
simply because I wanted to get my hands on something. I might be a cheap bastard, but would give me a minute to, to, to at least give this the old, uh, the old college try, if you will. Uh, okay, fuck this. All right, we're gonna return to the north. We're gonna do this the easy way. We're gonna return to the Normandy. Then we're gonna go back onto the planet at the starting point because I don't feel like climbing over goddamn mountains again. I don't care if this is cheap. I'm gonna take the same two people too. We're not rotating anyone out this time. All right. Now we should come back out in the same area, and we will have already had that, uh... We will have already had that other stuff grabbed. Yeah, okay, so it's still, it, it still got grabbed. It's still on the map, which is right over there. That is the other nice part, is it does save that stuff. It does, it's not like you have to, like, if you go back on the map or something, you can find new stuff. There's a limited... There's a certain amount of stuff on the map, which makes it so that you can clear it, so you know you don't have to come back to it kind of deal. I like that about these games. Uh, 2 has kind of the same thing as well as 3, uh, except 2 and 3 also have percentages next to the star systems for the percentage of them that you have surveyed and done all your shenanigans on. So, you it does have that, which is nice. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Alright, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Alright, so we're going up and around, so we'll have to go this way and then around a little bit to get to the area we gotta go to. You can see it marked on the map load there. That looks like an anomaly. Again, we're gonna find this anomaly and we're gonna do bad things to it. Let's do this. God, this thing takes a beating. You have no dick. Oh, boy. There we go. Okay, what do we got here? Ancient debris. We have to recover an artifact from this. Okay, we covered it. Burnian insignia recovered. This escape pod is half buried in the buried in the material that has washed down from the mountains. Though it has obviously been here for centuries, the computer still has power. Linked in with your hard suit, the recover you recover a batch of files containing data on the Thracia colony. Okay. So we got another Turney insignia. Okay, now we'll check out the debris over here. Joe my lord, this is going to be an adventure. Here. Disturbing adventure. It looks like this is probably my best way to get up. I think this is probably my best route. It looks like the it looks like a gradual climb, so I think I can make it. Especially with the Mako's amazing hill climbing skills. Yeah. You both know that I'm gonna go. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, we got it. Don't you love it when a plan comes together just like the goddamn A-Team? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on, you can go. You can go. You can go. You can go. Oh, no. No, Jeebus. Okay, I think all I have to do is go around, though. And I can get to the debris pile. I think I'm okay. I think I just have to go around. Yeah, okay. I think, it, yeah, I just have to go around. All right, so the debris is down there. Yeah! Monster truck time! We did it! Somehow that took no damage. What the, what the fudge are these? I don't know, and they weird me out. All right, we can salvage. All right, we got it. Take it. All right. Now we can go to the actual mission report, which is the science facility. We're going to the science facility. I'm going to shoot you scummy people in the face. 
In the face! In the face! I'm Commander Shepard, I'm above the law. It has weird alien sex scenes in it, man. That's what we call the Alpha Pole. Alright. We've made it. Screw you, life hacks. Alright, let's get over here. Get over here and do the dirty doobles. You have nothing on me. You filthy bastards. Were you expecting were you expecting to live? I'm sorry. I'm going to kill the lot of you now. All right, we're going to save here because we know how this happens sometimes. Okay. Again, this is probably a room that they've reused. They've just redecorated it. Yeah, I mean, they kind of redecorated it. All right, let's go over and check here. Ooh, upgrade kit. Taking all that. Anything else in here? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so it's just the upgrade kit. That's fine. All right, now we're going to be entering into a room with enemies, so we're probably going to have to fire a little bit out the door. Oh, God. They're throwing creepers. This is, this is just terrible. Dear God, man. None of you have so... Get over here so I have to stop shooting Steve. Okay. Are all of you assholes dead? We're good, Commander. Thank you, Tali. Oh, speaking of which, before we keep exploring. Oh, he oh he has another two. Okay, I wasn't aware of that. Alright, tactical armor is good. Pistols are good. Let's uh let's go with the Spectre training. Alright, he needs to have that upgraded, yep. Tali has twenty. Oof, okay. Can upgrade her first aid. Need to have your hacking skill up there, Tali. Let's go with the pistols. Let's also upgrade the armor. Okay. Alright, I think that works. Alright, so we're just going to quickly search this room for anything of use. Because I have to be a loot goblin in these games. It's just the, the way that I am. It's the way that I am and the way that I know I can be. This is anal retentive, but get. Alright. Alright, let's do this door. Alright, you son of a bitch. So I got two doors here. The X is through that one. So let's do this one. Actually, this is a room that looks like I can loot. Yep. Okay. So I got a couple of lockers here. Filthy disease. There we go. Yeah, got that one. Okay. Got that one. Anything else here I can screw with? Oh, okay, there's a container over here. That guy's dead. I'll take all that as well. Uh, so maybe when we get back to the ship after this, if we if we don't if we don't have enough time to do another star system, uh, which I think we might, we'll see. Rescuers? Oh, thank God! See, I told you somebody would come to investigate that signal. My name is Dr. Ross. Chief Exogeny researcher at this facility. Uh oh. We've been trapped in this room for days. We're almost out of food and water. You got here just in time. I need to know what's going on. 
Why is this place crawling with Thorian creepers? How do you know about the Thorian? I know what Exogeny was up to. I saw what they let the Thorian do to those colonists, so I destroyed it. Our secret's out then. No point in my lying. You already know the worst. The creepers here were created using altered samples from the specimens on Pharos. We discovered a way to turn them into docile, obedient servants. Everything was going fine until a few days ago. Then all the creepers suddenly went berserk. Only a handful of us made it back into the safety of this room. Any chance some of the other people at the base might still be alive? Hmm, I doubt it. Too many creepers out there. They never stood a chance. We're the only ones left. Any idea why they turned on you? Maybe there was still some kind of link between the Creepers and the Thorian back on Pharos. The Thorian wasn't like any other life form we've ever studied. I can't explain how, but maybe when it died, it, it somehow set off the Creepers here. I've heard all I need to. Look, I know what we did here was wrong. I'll admit that. But it's over now. There's no sense reporting this to the authorities, right? You were in charge of this project. The safety of the staff was your responsibility. They trusted you, and you betrayed that trust. Be reasonable. I didn't mean for this to happen. Besides, how does it help anyone if I end up in jail? Normally, Exogeny would have my back, but it sounds like they're going to have their hands full cleaning up the mess on Pharos. But I've got money. A nice little emergency fund I set up. It's yours if you let us go. <laughs> I should shoot you in the face right now. This isn't about money. It's about justice. Blood for blood. Uh, that's not going to happen. Open fire. Open fire! Fuck them. I don't care. I get a couple of renegade options. This is one of them. Your head got blown off. Come out and say hi to my fucking gun! Go, go, go! I am your god now! Exogeny second rate mercs prove no match for a trained Alliance Marine. With the last of the science crew dead, there's no reason to linger here. Now I can loot the room! I don't care if I got renegade points for that, fuck it. Cerberus are dicks, and I will say that repeatedly, even though I know what happens in the next games. Cerberus are still dicks. I trust none of them. They are douches. Alright, we're gonna leave. And we're gonna shuffle our way out of here. God, Shepard, come on. Get on a diet, bro. You gotta be able to run. You gotta be able to run more than like 20 or 30 feet at a time. I don't care if you're in full armor. That shit doesn't look that heavy. Alright, now that we're done with that, we can go back to the Normandy. We resolved the issue. Screw you! Okay, so now that we're done there... All right, so we did Vostok, so now we can go, let's go to Caspian. We'll do one more star system, um, and then I think we'll, we'll call this for time's sake. Yeah, I think we can do one more. Yeah, I think we can do one more. Oh, there's a ship here. So this must be something related to something else. All right, so we'll just quickly survey the system. Antita. All right, we can survey this. Again, gas giant. Turian signal recovered. Scans of Antita revealed a group of defunct turrets orbiting the planet. The recon team carefully retrieved one of the turrets and brought it on board. Tali mid dismantled the weapon and found it was marked with a Carthan outpost insignia. Okay, so we got another Turian outpost insignia. Almacrux. Okay, this one we can't do anything with. Again, I'll leave this up. We're gonna go back now. Let's see here. Farnuri. Okay, we can survey this one. 
Barnari has a trace atmosphere of carbon dioxide and helium. Ooh, you must sound like... You must sound like this when you're there! <laughs> Screw off. Heavy metal. Alright, let's see. And then... Batanka. Alright, we can survey this one again. We're gonna land on that object, which looks like a ship. Right, what do we get from this? Another more heavy metal. Okay. All right, now we're gonna go this. All right, we're gonna board this. Ground class modular conveyor of human design will obviously drift the chronocopia is not broadcasting any distress signal. All right, so, X solar shipping soul. All right, so we took Tali with us last time. I think we'll take, let's take Ash. And we're just gonna upgrade Ash a little bit because it's been a bit uh, hot minute since we had her up here. All right, she has the best for three armors now. Soldier. And there we go. Okay, we just wanna make sure we had her up. All right. Alright, we're entering the ship. I'm pretty sure we haven't done this already. Alright, nothing here. Oh god! Through that shit! Back up! Husks. The ship's probably crawling with them. I guess we don't have to worry about them. Ah, uh, God damn it. Screw those things. Breaking live. Is he leading him back to the door? He's giving me good amounts of XP. Come on. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. I can see your little weird asses moving around. Still one more. Come on. I can see you moving around. Come on. Make your way over here. It's not that difficult. Almost there. I can see you on the mini-map. I can see your stupid face on the mini-map. Come on. Oh, for the love of... Go to hell. Alright. Alright, there's definitely more. Okay, yep. Now I'm There's just one of you left. Dear God. I hate husks. Oh God, there's still another one. Couple. Screw those things. Alright, there's still gotta be more of them. You're good to go. Good amount of them. Are we done now? Alright, looks like we're done with this room at least. 
Probably gonna be more in here. Alright, so it looks like the X is in there, so we have two side rooms. We have this one. Okay, so this is a lootable. Do the manual override here as we normally do. Okay, we're gonna take all that. We're gonna take all of that. Anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so we'll check the room across the hall, then we'll go into the room with the X. Okay, this room. Similar. Have a malfunctioning object. Alright, we're gonna take that. I don't think there's anything else in here. Doesn't look like there is. Now we'll go to the last room. Alright, what's it? Okay, there's nothing in here. Navigational computer. According to the log files, the ship was out near the Perseus Veil. Vale. Looks like they found some kind of alien artifact. They brought it on board, and then... This doesn't make any sense. They plotted a course straight into the Perseus Veil, vale, like they wanted the Geth to find them. That artifact must have done something to them. Why else would someone fly into Geth's base? The entries don't make a lot of sense after that. It's like the captain's mind was falling apart. Doesn't say anything about how the ship got back into human territory. Yeah. The Geth turned them into husks and left the ship where someone would find it, trying to show us what happens to organics dumb enough to enter the Veil. According to the... They brought it on board and then... This doesn't make any sense. What else do the logs say? The entries don't make a lot of sense after that. It's like the captain's mind... Yeah. Okay, so that 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 doesn't change. Um, okay, so that's it for this one. So this is just kind of like a creepy little thing that we found. You can find little random things like this where it's just like, oh, okay, you go on here, you shoot some enemies, you get some gear. It's just kind of like a cool little little side mission thing where you get to raid a little ship and then you find out that the reason why it's filled with husks is because these idiots picked up a some sort of an artifact that brainwashed their skulls and then turned them into husk people. Truly, the, the greatest minds of a generation. Okay, let's go back to the ship. So we'll go back to the ship now, and then I think we will call this episode. Alright, so we're back here on the Normandy, so we're going to save. And now we're going to uh, call this episode. So thank you once again for tuning in for Mass Effect Part 13. Good night. Good night. Good night.